Hello, my name is Amelia Provencio, and welcome to segment A of our series on short sales as an option to avoid foreclosure. This segment is on impacts on credit. How a short sale affects a homeowner's credit is the question everybody asks. Everyone's credit may be impacted differently depending on who the lender is and whether it's just a home causing the financial difficulty or they're having financial distress in every aspect of their life. For example, late payments on cars and credit cards in addition to the mortgage. There are differing views and measurements on the exact impact of your FICO score. But in general, a short sale will have a lesser impact on your credit than a foreclosure or indeed in lieu. In a short sale, the ding to your credit is actually due to each late payment or payment that you miss. The fewer late payments, the less the damage. And these can be worked off over a period of time while you're keeping current on all other debts and monitoring your credit. However, in a foreclosure, in addition to the dings from the late payment, the bank will report the actual foreclosure and it will stay on your record for up to seven years. In a short sale, we have had clients with as little as 50 points hit and up to 150 points depending on their situation. But they can recover and get back on their feet as little as a year or so. The bottom line is, homeowners who walk and let their home foreclose will be unlikely to buy another home for as long as seven years. Homeowners who choose to do a short sale will have the opportunity through Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac programs to buy again as little as two years. Think about it. If you had two people come to you to, to try to borrow money to buy a home, one walked and one did a short sale, who would you rather loan money to? This concludes segment eight. Stay tuned for our final segment, the short sale package with Daniel Romo.